Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make three bow hair ties. The first one is the big bow hair tie. Here's what you're going to need to cut out for this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold our ribbon in half to find the center. And then go ahead and take one of the sides and go ahead and put just one corner matching up to the center line and pin it down. You need to sew this on both of your white ribbons. Now that that is sewn, take your needles out and go ahead and take the opposite side and go ahead and, how many times am I going to say go ahead, <laughs> and match it up to where you just sewn. Pin that down and sew those as well. The reason I'm sewing is because the glue makes it a little too stiff for me. So like I said, it makes like an eight. So just match that up, pin it down, and sew that down as well. Now I'm just taking some thread and I'm going to take my two bow pieces and make an X shape and then I'm just going to fold it in and out and make sure it's how I want it to be. Then take your thread and go ahead and wrap it around a lot <laughs> and pull it tight so that it comes together. Once it's how you want it to be, go ahead and tie that thread off. And here's your bow. Take that center piece and go ahead and tie a knot, making sure that the pattern of your ribbon is facing outwards. Now turn your bow to the back and go ahead and hot glue your hair tie to your bow. Turn it back to the front and we're going to glue the knot of that little ribbon to the center front. Now turn it back around and go ahead and glue the tails down on top of the hair tie in the back. And cut off any excess that you have. Repeat the same thing for the, the bottom side. Just go ahead and trim off the excess and glue it down. Now I'm just going to heat seal the edges. And here is the big bow. The reason I I'm doing bow hair ties is because my little girl does not like clip-in bows, so this forces her to wear them. <laughs> Moving on to the little lace hair ties. Here's what you're going to need to cut out for these. So what you're going to do is go ahead and make like a ribbon shape like this. And then just bring the back in, and there we go. Now I just have some thread on my needle and I'm going to go ahead and push that through and go ahead and wrap that a couple times and pull that tight and tie it off. Now it's time to glue the hair tie to the back of this one. For this center, I'm going to go ahead and take gold rick rack ribbon here and then I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot with that and do the same thing just glue it in the center turn it over to the back and go ahead and glue the tails down over the hair tie We're going to heat seal these too because we definitely don't want no fraying going on here. And I decided to make two of these so that it's perfect for pigtails or braids or whatever. It's just so cute and 
adorable. Now lastly, we got the satin knotted hair tie, which is probably my favorite one personally. And here's what you're gonna need to cut out for these. I'm just gonna put it together and fold it over a couple times so that when I cut out a curve, I'm cutting out all four curves at the same time. So just round those edges. Now we need to put them right sides touching and so all the way around leaving an opening to flip it right side out. But first you need to clip off the curve so that it lays flatter and turn it right side out. You're gonna be left with a little bit sticking out and what we're gonna do is fold that in and hot glue that closed. You can sew it if you want to, but I am just gonna throw some glue in there and close it up. Once that's looking all nice and pretty, then we're gonna take our hair tie and just put it inside the hair tie and then tie a knot. Make sure you pull this really tight and make sure that the things that stick out, the little ears, are how you want it to be, nice and flat. And ta-da, it's so cute. I really love the metallic finish of satin material. So there it is guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, then go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.